all right everybody how you doing welcome back got a video for you today but before we get started just remember to like and subscribe if you're already not uh, a lot of people you watch the channel and aren't subscribed so just make sure you do subscribe because you don't miss a video all right so i'm going to get into today is i'm going to get into what is the best everyday carry zippo uh and what combination of insert with this and that and i'm going to go over a lot of them and i'm going to go over all their different advantages and disadvantages a real uh, detailed review and just the pros and cons of everything and uh, we'll get started here i'm going to show you what i absolutely every day carry how, what my rig is what my setup is i don't leave the house without the zippo i have been using it a lot lately in the last couple of months uh, i've pretty much put all my other zippos aside just to use this one and it is my rose gold armor deep carve you can see it says zippo in there very nice uh, and then I did uh, this custom work on there, the girl with the Hannibal Lecter outfit on. Uh, and what I use is a gold-plated insert without the top. Uh, anyone who's been following my channel for a long time knows that I've been using my uh, pipe inserts like that for years and years. If you go back to my other channel, you know, four years ago, I was I was doing that. Uh, all I do is I take the I take the top off see that's the top of the pipe insert and then you're left with the three big holes uh it makes it really good and uh the air gets to it so you get a really nice flame and it goes in any direction uh why i like using the pipe insert with the top off is so you can get that straight flame when you want but you can also get that sideways flame whenever you need it so it's kind of like having three regular uses compared to an insert that uh, only has the regular chimney like this say uh you know you only get the top open this one has a chimney cap and a rubber gasket uh if you're into that and you do like the rubber gaskets and chimney cap oh my spare flint fell out there uh it, it's a great it's a great one to have i actually stopped using it uh just i don't know the brass it makes it really this is solid brass this insert it makes the chimney really weak when you try to pull it out sometimes it squeezes it is a good insert and everything and these rubber gaskets wear out and the one thing i don't like about the rubber gasket is that hole to fill i like to take i like to take uh fill the whole thing up like move it over and over when i'm doing it this little hole makes it harder to fill takes it longer to fill i find i just i don't like the little gaskets for that reason and then when you slide them in and out it wears off the rubber seal on the side this one's brand new it's never been in a lighter but the brass has tarnished i've had it just sitting there uh, but as a cool novelty, they are worth getting for five bucks just to have one. Like they're not bad. I do like them, but like I said, I haven't used mine in uh, years. Uh, I just use, like I said, my gold plated insert, pipe insert with the chimney off. I prefer it over a regular insert. That's why I always rock it. Uh, and that's my, that's my everyday carry. That's what I'm leaving the house with. That's what I'm doing all my stuff with is this one right here. But I live in Canada and it's winter here all the time. So for most of the year, it's only summer for a few short months out of the year. Uh, so I like Zippo fluid out of necessity because when it's cold, it'll light anytime you can get it wet. Uh, Zippo fluid is just always king, always lights up first strike. As you can see, I believe my lighter has every time. It always does. Even when it's dying, it still lights up first time. Uh, it's very dependable Zippo fluid. So I always, I always stick with it. Uh, but I have other lighters that I do like to use and now that it's uh, summertime here in Canada uh, We're getting to some warmer weather. I could start using butane inserts more But just because I live in Canada and it's cold and I need Zippo fluid Maybe you live uh, closer to the equator or somewhere where it's hot all year round and Zippo fluid isn't good for you because of the way it evaporates uh, When you comes to the evaporation, I can show you here uh, what I do is I repack my insert with cotton bacon and I don't put felt I don't put the felt back in uh, like how a regular insert has felt on the bottom I don't put that back in uh, it's just more room for fluid that way and it helps you just last a little longer and the reason I do that it's not leaking out the bottom as you can see in the bottom here I do my sandwich bag trick and uh, if I can get it out with my <laughs> usually I can get it out with my pinky I guess I jammed it in there in a funny way there but so this is the bag and people wonder how why my bag lasts so long you can see it has no rips it still holds the shape of the insert uh like it'll just plug right into that insert like nothing uh 
it just it just kind of forms a shape and you're probably wondering why you can't do that with your sandwich bag at home and why your sandwich bag rips every time you use it you're probably using too big of a piece it can only be so big it only has to cover so much as you can see here and got a little, little string in there uh and I've had this sandwich bag for four months. I've been using that every every time for four months, filling it every week, sliding in and out, uh, and it doesn't rip. And the reason why it doesn't rip is because it is a freezer bag. It is a medium-sized freezer bag, much different than a weak little plastic, thin-layered sandwich bag. The freezer bag, you buy them, they got the double seal Ziploc on there. They say freezer bag right on the box, and they're extremely thick, and they're very thick. And they last a long time and they're much more durable. I've only been using freezer bags for the last couple of years now. I don't use sandwich bags anymore. I know it is called the sandwich bag trick because most people you have them. But I'm telling you, if you get the opportunity to get the freezer bags, for, they're only like $2 for a box of 20 or something. Like, just get the box. You'll use them for other things and just keep one bag. It'll last you years. Like, I'm still on the same freezer bag. My freezer bag only has the bottom cut off over the last two years. I still got the whole thing to use. So, it goes a long way. And you probably think, oh, well, this one has a chimney cap for the fluid and it's got the bottom. It's much nicer. Yeah, okay, true. It does seem that way, but I find I get a better performance out of this insert because there's no felt on the bottom. I have that much more room for fluid. Uh, when the lid's closed, it doesn't evaporate out the wick too much. And if you don't want it to evaporate out the wick as much, leave your Zippo standing up at night. It'll all sink to the bottom. And then when it's in your pocket all day, it'll swoosh all around in there and, and be good. If you're leaving your Zippo standing up like that, you will think sometimes that it's out of fluid, but if you lay it down for an hour or have it in your pocket for an hour, it'll it'll fill right back up. It's just most of the fluid has gone to the bottom from standing up. But that I, I usually don't even do that to be honest. Like I leave it anyway. I'm not uh I'm not too particular about my Zippos. So that's my everyday carry, and that's why I carry it, and those are all the pros and cons about it. And that's why I love it, and that's why that's all I'll ever carry. I've been doing that for years. But now just because that's what I carry doesn't mean that's what you have to carry or that's what you want to carry. So that's what these other Zippos are out here for and they all have different setups in them because I just want to show you that different scenarios and different situations and where you live and what you're going to use it for, you probably want to use a different Zippo. You won't have to use what mine is. Um, now, like I said, I can't say enough good things about the armor. These two are armors right here. I always switch back and forth between armors because I drop my Zippos a lot. And they are way more dent resistant than a regular size Zippo. Uh, they're just a little bit thinner and they dent a little bit easier. And they will dent easier if you have a butane insert in them. These butane inserts weigh a lot. Uh, much more than a regular insert. These are very light compared to them. So uh, the added weight will make your Zippo dent easier. So just be careful. And the first thing I want to move on to is, okay, yeah, the armors are great. They're dent resistant. Uh, much more than a regular one. And they're really good lighters. But I also like the 41. The 41 is also really dent resistant because it's flat edges. Not so much on the roof, but everywhere else where you're going to drop at corners, it's pretty dent resistant. I've I've carried this one for almost a year now and it has no dents and I've dropped it a ton. I love using it. Uh, what I like about the 41 too is it fits a double torch insert very nice. I like having the double torch butane. I prefer the double torch butane over the single torch uh, just because... When you're lighting something with it, <laughs> that two torches is just way better if you're lighting a cigar or something bigger or whatever, right? Uh, it's always better to have the double torch, I find, and I like it. It's very wind resistant because of the double torch. Uh, you've probably seen my video, what is the most wind resistant butane insert. Uh, double torch was high up there. It is very good for wind resistance. Uh, not as good as the regular insert, but that's, you know, that's fluid. That's why, and this is just butane. For as far as butane goes, this is a great insert. Uh, and then... I also like the vintage look and the reason why I like the vintage look is because it's square body style too. Uh, this is also pretty resistant to dents because of the sharp corners, right? It makes it harder to dent on a corner like that. So I also really like the vintage look and if it's something you like too, you should really look into it. The vintage look is always, uh, always I, I feel like it's always underrated. Uh, people always look past it. Not a lot of people carry them. I don't know why. I think they're one of the best looking uh, Zippos they have. I really like the vintage look. And I also rock it with a double torch because the double torch fits in it very well. Uh, and the Zippo double torch uh, just makes it look clean. And like I said, it's summer here in Canada. I could use a torch now. 
uh, the advantage of butane, if you live somewhere where it's hot, is it's not going to evaporate out, out very fast. And maybe you're one of those guys where you're just like uh, carrying around a lighter. You only use it once or twice a day, maybe not even. And using Zippo fluid isn't going to be good for you because you're going to be filling it all the time and not using it. So switching to a butane insert is the best thing you're going to do, especially if you live in those warmer temperatures. Using a Bic lighter is just so classless. You know what I mean? Like using... Uh, Using a Zippo is is much more classier. It's got a lot of good American heritage, you know. Especially a lot of Americans watch my channel, you know. Use use a Zippo over a Bic because you're American. You should. They make these in America still. Like this is one of the last remaining American companies, and also their warranty is second to none. You will have lifetime warranty on your stuff. Bic lighter does not offer you that. You throw it away and buy a new one. In the long run, if you go through a lot of Bic lighters, it's actually cheaper to keep a Zippo. Uh, a zippo over the years it'll pay for itself and it'd be much cheaper to run a can of butane is only a couple bucks so just let that be a lesson to you and it lasts you much longer uh now and if you're into using vintage zippos vintage zippos are nice too i have the single torch in here but i don't like the single torch as much i do like it that i could keep it dialed down i uh, keep it very low and this is probably out of the torches, this is the easiest on butane. You will fill this the least amount, and it will always work for you. I The single torch is great, but since I don't care about how much butane I'm using or how much I'm filling it up, I prefer the double torch. Uh, that's the only difference. This is a 70s Niagara Falls, and uh, you can see... I don't know if you guys can see that on the, on the top, but it actually... You can see it here. See how the light catches here? There was a big dent in here. Someone had dropped it. Uh, I bought this used. And I actually fixed it with a little rounded piece of metal. I had the lid open and I banged it until it was back in shape the best I could get it. But uh, So vintage Zippo is always something you might want to use too because they're built rock solid. And I honestly feel Zippos aren't built as good as they used to be. So if you do want to use a vintage Zippo, that might be something you want to use for an everyday carry. And now when I get to uh, the two other Zippos I want to talk about for an EDC are right here. And uh, that is a 41 Crackle or a black mat. Uh, now, as far as durability, if anybody wants to know, as I'm saying it now, the black crackle is probably a little more durable, I find, than the black mat. But it might be an illusion too, because the black mat is smooth, so you'll see everything more. And this has a textured finish, so you won't see scratches as much. Uh, but when it comes to dropping and chipping, I always find that it this the black crackle does hold up a little better. I, I do honestly want to say it. And just to let people know, it is a rough textured finish it looks like. It looks like it's very rough. It might be very rough to the touch. It's not. It's completely smoothed out. You don't feel anything. It's almost as smooth as the mat it feels like. So uh, don't worry about that. And for this, I really do like the black mat. But I used to carry one back in the day about 20 years ago. And I scratched it all up and just used it. And, and that's, how, that's how they get used. You'll see here. You know, they get used and abused. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a black mat. Uh, that's what they look like. But if you're a mechanic or something like that, or you got a, a greasy job of some sort, a black crackle or black mat might be just for you because you got grease on your hands. It's not going to show up on there. They're the cheapest Zippos you could buy. Uh, so you're not going to really break the bank and you're not going to care if you dent it up and lose it. And it'll get, as you see in my uh, destroyed one there, it'll get character as time goes on. You put the scratches in yourself. Uh, but I prefer an all metal finish. Uh, there's just nothing better for me. But I do understand why people do like these coated Zippos. But the problem is they're black. If you drop them at nighttime, you might never see them again. Uh, that another reason why I like the reflective metals. I could see it. I have lost these before also. So just let that be a note to you. And those are my best EDC Zippos and what you should carry for what situation you need it. Uh, and I hope that helps. And if you got any questions or comments, or you just want to talk about what your EDC Zippo is, just comment it in the comment it in the comments. This is what I carry, and this is the insert that I'm rocking. Uh, just remember, if you're going to use Zippo fluid, though, you might want to get one of these or do the insert yourself with one of my videos, like I did. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a great weekend, and see you in the next one.